Hey guys, Marty Smog back here with you again. Wanted to share with you another way to update your machine. Uh, Iron Man just came out and requires VPIN MAME 3.5. So if you've been afraid to update VPIN MAME before, we're gonna walk through that live. So first, let's navigate to wherever you have your visual pinball installed. For me, it's on my H drive here on the desktop, V Pinball. And then I'm gonna go under Visual Pinball and navigate to VPIN MAME. Underneath VPIN MAME, you'll see a setup.exe. This is the 32-bit and setup.64 for the 64-bit. I'm gonna just gonna double click the setup file, allow Windows. And you'll see here that I am on Visual Pin MAME version 3.3. .3. You can see that right here and I need 3.5. So uh, we will navigate over. There'll be a link in the description of the YouTube video. All right, so you're gonna head over to GitHub. You're gonna see pin main 3.5 released October 23rd. You're gonna come down to assets down here and you're gonna do the main download the pin main 35.zip. Get that on your machine and wait for the download. All right, now that you have your file, you can head over to your downloads directory and you can unzip that zip file. I usually like to unblock it first, right click, choose unblock, and then just unzip that somewhere where you, you can manipulate that. Uh, for me, we're just gonna call it VPIN name in our downloads directory. So now you're just gonna navigate to the VPIN main folder you just unzipped. And I do this, I sort by type. And the least harmful way to upgrade your system without overriding things like your VP alias, your DMD device.ini file. And if you follow what I'm telling you, you should be pretty safe. I've done this multiple times and had great luck. So grab all the folders, grab all the executables, and grab all the DLL files. So I'm gonna grab all these right here. I'm gonna right click, choose copy. And now I'm gonna navigate again to where my VPIN MAME is. So if again, for me, it is HVis Visual Pinball, VPIN MAME. And then right here within the root of VPIN MAME under Visual Pinball, I'm gonna paste all of those files, place all the files in the destination. There's 27 total. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back and just at the beginning, double click the setup.exe, say yes for Windows. And as you can see here, now I'm running Visual Pin Main version 3.5. And if you follow these steps, you should have upgraded without any issues. I have had one person tell me that stern color ROMs after this update caused them problems. I myself have done many stern color ROMs since and not had any issues. If you have any reports of problems or issues after this upgrade, please leave a note in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe to the video, and I hope this has been helpful for some of you. Thanks, and have a great day.